I'm surprised this is not the, like one of the main events for Raw. I'm surprised. I thought this would be like later on in the show. Thinking about the cash. is going up on top of the ladder. Loomis, the Miz has no idea where he is right now. It looks like Loomis has every clue where he is. Oh, no. oh damn! Miz out of the way just in time. That was a good spot right there. Crash landing for Dexter Loomis. Man, we need some more gimmick matches like this on Raw. We had an intergender match. We have this match here. Still, Sami Zayn and AJ Styles. Gotta say, this is a really good Raw. And it's been a, it's been a little bit of, it's been a little bit of time since we've had a good Raw. Here it comes. Lewis is barely moving here, ringside. No way. This is, this is not, this is not it. This is not how the match is gonna end, no way. Like a real life action hero. Lewis is lifeless, as is Johnny Gargano. This could be the moment for the Miz. Here it is, Miz. And I love it, we have a bag of money up there. <laughs> this man just won't go away. Dexter. He's still at it. Precarious situation for both superstars perched on top of the ladder. Oh, that's it. That's it. The feud's over right here. Dexter Loomis. Dexter's got it. Rich, rich man. He's taking a little too long, though. Wait, what the hell? Oh, shit. Bronson Reed. Look at the size of this guy. What's he doing here? Where the hell did he come from? This wow. Superstar we haven't seen him. No reaction. I wonder why. <laughs> but I know what comes next. Oh, no. I can't believe this. I said this on my talk show, the We Are Wrestling talk show. The only way I could see Bronson Reed coming back to WWE is probably by, you know, being like Miz's bodyguard or something. He definitely is freaking has ties with the Miz. Is he here to steal the cash or what? Uh, maybe. I, uh, it's the only thing that makes sense. It's obvious Bronson's got to do with The only thing that makes sense. Wow. Bronson Reed. Oh, wait. This was a horrible freaking re signing, oh, though. Bronson Reed, man, like we need some more personality out of him. Needs to be more aggressive, more serious. Is helping Miz up the ladder. What are we witnessing? Oh my! Ah, uh, the Miz. He always finds a way out. This is unbelievable. Even for the Miz, this should be a Hallmark movie. I don't know. I feel like a guy like Bronson Reed, like he need, he needs vignettes. Just like, you know, Tegan Knox needed with some vignettes. I don't know how I feel about this. Because Bronson Reed, when he was Jonah in New Japan, he was actually killing it. Back to the Hollywood lifestyle then. Christmas is still I don't know how I feel. All is right in the world. I don't know how I feel about this. This was chaotic. This was insane. I'm not the biggest fan of Bronson Reed. I really am not. And I know these reports were, you know, happening. Such a mid debut, though. And like, 
his moves weren't even like really aggressive. Tapped off by a Except for the splash. The splash was pretty nice. From the top. But besides that, like everything else was just so mid. Miz was able to When you're that big, like you need to freaking make the stuff actually look good. What a moment. Because I know Bronson Reed has potential. But that was so Come on, Triple H. You could have done way better. And I'm kind of getting a little sick of our, like, I'm sick of the debuts happening, like, out of nowhere like these. I feel like WWE definitely forgot what vignettes are. AEW forgot what they are, too, clearly. But we need vignettes. A vignette can tell a story so much better than these out of nowhere debuts. Because you have to realize the casuals are not NXT fans. NXT fans are diehard wrestling fans like myself. Ah, I don't know how I feel about that. I really don't know. I, don't, I didn't like it. 